But um, my name is Faith. Liz asked me to do this, and I was, like, super nervous. So I might be stuttering a little bit and just, just a little nervous. I was like, oh, my goodness, really? But um, so I'm just going to talk about um, November, how amazing it was for me. Uh, me and my team were 86% to green. Um, I think that's what it was. So we had, I wrote down the number, we had ended the month at $8,618 in company sales. And it was um, just amazing. We missed it. And I had made up in my mind um, before we, at the end of the, like on the last day, and I got to the end of the hours and I was looking and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do it. And we didn't, but I had made up my mind that no matter what, even if we missed it, I wasn't going to quit working and I wasn't going to sulk about it and I wasn't going to let it upset me. I did promote to blue last month. And so I decided that even if I missed double promoting to green status, I was still going to take uh, my promotion to blue and be happy and excited about that because that was an accomplishment in itself. Um, a lot of my girls, my team double promoted and that was, that was even more amazing. I was like more excited about their promotions than my own. Like I was like super, super excited for them. So that too, it was just an amazing month for so many women on, um, in my team. And, um, so green status was, I just, um, it was really big. I wanted to hit it really bad, but, um, getting to green was, um, when I look back, I'm like, could I have done more? Could I have been better? Could I have done better? And I really probably could have. Um, now I know what to expect. It was um, it was funny because Melina, uh, I talked to Melina a lot. And in the beginning of the month, when I was looking at my numbers, I was like, oh, my gosh, what's going on? <laughs> it was just, like, crazy for me. I was like, what is going on? Like, I was watching those numbers every day. And I was like, whoa. Like, it was, like, day three or four. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this could, this could really happen. And so from there, from that moment, like, day three or day four, I was like, this can, like, happen. And so I was like, okay, whatever. I don't care what happens. I don't care what goes on. I'm just going to just work. I'm just going to do this, right? And so – um it's all about teamwork. That's um, that's a different – the green status is different from pink and blue because, you know, you have those powerhouses out there. I'm not a PRS powerhouse. But you have those PRS powerhouses out there can hit, who can definitely hit pink by themselves and some can even do blue by themselves, right, as long as they have the two qualified. But green status is not one of those. Green status is a teamwork thing. And so when it comes to that – and when I saw the numbers moving like they were, I was like, okay, I, I just, I got to connect with these people, with women who are working and see where do they want to go? What do they want to do? Right. And so um, that's what I did. I found the ones who were running. I found the ones who were showing themselves, putting up the PRS and I got, okay, I don't know what that was. Sorry. Um, but I got, I got in their inboxes and I have a um, team chat for the women, anyone that's in my downline. Um, and what I found is that you don't just work with the ones you sponsor. Like, you don't just work with them. You work with those you sponsor and who they sponsor and who they sponsor. And you work with everyone and you connect with everyone. And having that group chat we have, even now, it's still, like, it's just an amazing little, you know, um, there's this just amazing culture. And so, like, at convention, I heard, I took a lot of leadership classes because I was like, you know, when you go to convention, you're like, okay. I need to pick classes that I'm going to uh, benefit from, right? And I was like, I really want to work on leadership because I'm trying to build a business and I need to learn to be an amazing leader. And one of the things I found was culture. Like that word culture just floated around throughout a couple of classes I took from like Brie Richardson and people like that. And um, so I feel like November and I've always had this group chat and I'll be like, two birds here, two birds there. But November, that group chat just blew up oh my gosh and that that chat being blown up like it was created the momentum that carried us to 86 percent 86 percent of green status and so in that group chat we didn't just talk about you know the promotions we talked about everything so creating a culture and getting close with your girls is something that I learned last month was like super important and I always knew it was important and everybody's personalities don't click but um, something about last month, there were some personalities in there, and it just, like, molded together. And even now in December, that group chat is still going on. And we still have other people who have promoted to yellow status this month. Some are going for that pink status bonus. And so, and again, these aren't, like, and most of the people who are working on my team are not my personally sponsored. I heard um, someone say last month, you don't have to sponsor a rock star. You know, you can sponsor somebody who sponsors a rock star, and then you work with that rock star, you know. You just work with those rock stars 
no matter if you sponsor them or not. And that's something that I found um, last month is just to be be with everyone, work with everyone. It doesn't matter who they are. Um, and I also learned that I cannot ask my girls to push if I wasn't going to push. If I wasn't going to get up and work it and do the postings, do the live, do the messaging. Messaging was huge, okay? I felt like I was so focused on messaging, I didn't even post as much as I did because I put all that energy from like posting into messaging last month. I would love to know how many people I messaged last month. <laughs> like I really would. Like messaging is huge. Those moments I like, I decided to um, track and see what the difference was. So I messaged a whole bunch of people daily and I did not message people just about makeup. I messaged people about everything because I don't want to be, I don't want to go look back over my conversations with people and all I see is makeup conversations because no I'm more than makeup so I decided I was gonna miss people I like makeup like what are you doing for Thanksgiving you know um are you Black Friday shopping things like that and the more I messaged over here in this column with the other people in their inboxes the more um more interaction I saw on the couple of posts few, two to three posts I had posted in that day and so um that like went hand in hand so messaging goes hand in hand with your post interaction and all that jazz, you know? And it also goes hand in hand with PRS. I am not a huge PRS person. I am probably about anywhere, my average is probably like six, $700 a month. You know, I'm not a huge PRS person. But last month I had over a thousand dollars in PRS. And so I was like, okay, I see, I see now. Like, and I've always heard it and I've always done it, but in that, like, it was just the momentum and the the um, push and just all the chatter going on in that that group chat like it was just it just was so I think it lit a fire under everybody that was um in that group chat between me and all of my girls um and then something else is that I'm a single mom I am a single mom with two toddlers I'm a young single mom and so um uh well I'll leave that for what I was gonna say in a second but it is not easy. It is not easy working a business as a single parent. <laughs> it is not easy at all. Um, my kids are very clingy to me. And so I found that if I woke up early, I could get a lot of work done. Um, and it has for the past, I've been in this business for two years and it has been a struggle for me to time manage. Um, and I'm easily distracted. I get easily off focus. And um, I'm like, really, like I'm a scatterbrain. Like, squirrel okay and so um with them being so young and me learning this and trying to figure everything out it was really hard for me to um, manage my time and so then about what i don't know how long ago but a few months ago team z was introduced to me and that is a life saver i freaking love team z y'all i can't i just it just makes it so easy if you're a paper, paper person you're probably like everything's gonna go in one ear and out the other because a lot of people don't like team z because it's paper right I love Team Z because I can't keep up with papers. I'm a mom, okay? I might pick up my checklist and my daughter has drawn some pictures on top of it, you know? So I can't keep up with papers. Um, so Team Z is amazing for me because it has everything where I need it in one spot. Um, there was like a 90 day run going on a few months ago and I did not complete the 90 day run, but I um, I probably, I did not the full 90 day run, but I did work, you know, and not to the full 90 day run, you know, every day thing. But I did work and so, that I also think contributed to uh, November's big, um, almost double promote to grain status. Um, so I totally suggest if you don't have a checklist or if you don't have Teensy, you really want that because it's really been a help for me as a single parent to um, just have everything there for me. Like I said, the Teensy, the way it is, if you don't know about Teensy, just put Teensy in Gold Diggers. Uh, Liz talks about it all the time. But uh, it's just, it's been a huge help for me. Um, getting up early is a huge help for me as a single parent because if I get up before them, I can get up, I can like just, you know, meditate, think on things and just um, start working. And if I do a little bit of work before the day, before they even get up and my day even really starts, then that way when I look, I'm like, okay, I actually got stuff done today. And it's a little bit, it's motivating when you look and you see that I've done work. I've, I've gotten things done before anything's even went down today, you know, because you never know what your day is going to be like. Um, I say there's really no such thing as being organized because as a parent, it's just, unless you're just one of those Pinterest mom, I salute you, but I'm not a Pinterest mom and being organized is really hard for me. So I've learned to just, just go with it and to not focus on, I need this. I, there have been times where I'm like, I really, really want to do that. And then like I didn't do it and someone else did and I was like dang if I had just got up and done it I would have had that done 
So just do it. Like if I've learned that if I just, just don't think about it and just do it, um, it's much better for me because again, I forget stuff to, I just forget too much. Um, so, and I'm not going to keep it with paper. So just doing it is better for me. Um, and to trust in your own journey. So I said, I've been in this business for two years and I hit blue last month. Okay. So of course I was like, oh yeah, I really wanted to go to promote to green. Like it's time. Right. And I missed it, but I didn't stop. I didn't stop working. I think sometimes we miss and we fall short. And, um, one thing about me is I have, I started this business with absolutely zero confidence, absolutely zero to believe in myself. And I'm still struggling with that now, but I have seen myself grow because faith has done a lot of things in her life, a lot of different sports. I never could stick with anything. And this business is something I have actually stuck with. Even if I have missed, if I have hit, if I have fallen short of something, I've stuck with it. And it's really the sisterhood that has made me stick with it. I say all the time. Um, I don't know where I would be without Melina. <laughs> like, I just don't know where I would be without Melina. Uh, she has definitely been a huge help for me. Um, Liz has been a huge help. Um, just, you know, having those leaders and overlapping leadership. I like salute overlapping leadership. If you want to keep your girls to yourself, it is not a good idea. I don't care what you say because every personality does not work with everybody. There are certain girls on my team that probably connect with the sideline better than me, you know? And so that's fine. That's fine. If you connect with the sideline, if you connect with, connect with the upline, if you connect with the downline, that's perfectly fine for me because, you know, they're going to they're, they're there, you know, they're, that's something that they can connect with. And it's just, it's just makes it better for your them, you, everyone. And so overlapping relationship is a huge, 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 huge benefit. I mean, and you can learn from everyone. I don't have all the answers, you know? And so therefore I need to go find someone who has the answer. Maybe my sponsor doesn't have the answer. So I go talk to my upline. Maybe she doesn't have the answers. So I go talk to my other upline, you know? So overlapping leadership has been huge. Consistency has been huge and personal development is everything absolutely everything i start if i don't start my day with personal development it's not going to be a great day like i've literally noticed that if i if i am like if i put off the personal development do something else my day is not going to be amazing but if i do start with personal development my day is going to be great you know because i put that positivity in my ears and knock negative faith out because faith is super <laughs> could be a super negative person and i've grown in that department too um over the past couple of years but we're our minds. We're just, we're human. We're naturally negative, you know? And so personal development and putting that positivity into your ear early in the morning before you get work done, you can turn it on in the shower. You can turn it on while you make some coffee. You can turn it on whenever. I love my Bluetooth headphones because I can just lay my foot down and just listen to whatever podcasts, YouTube videos. There's plenty of stuff on Facebook, you know? And so personal development is absolutely freaking huge. Um, for me, I just, I just don't think it, you just can't do it without personal development. Everybody does personal development, even millionaires in this network marketing business do personal development. Um, everybody's like, uh, another thing, comparison. Oh my gosh. Comparison is the thief of joy. I've heard that so many times and it's really true. If you compare yourself to other people's journeys, it's just, it's going to steal that power away from you, you know? And so trust your own journey, um, your own journey is your journey and you do your journey according to whatever your life's going to do you know and everybody's life is different when they come to this you can't compare yourself to the woman who is in her 30s with hundreds of contacts and has met so many people throughout her life i'm 21 and so of course i don't know that many people i have to build more than someone else i had never been on facebook before when i was last time i was on facebook before i started this business it was middle school and so I had to build that Facebook, I had to build that algorithm, I had to do all these things. And so, um, therefore, um, uh, comparing your journey to someone else when your life and where you are at that time in your life is different from someone else's, it's um, just going to steal away that power from you. And so I highly suggest do not, if you're, gonna, if you're following somebody, I heard this a while ago, but if you're following somebody on Facebook and you constantly compare yourself to them, instead of learning from them, you might as well just unfollow them because that's just going to, you know, it takes away the power. It takes away whatever work you'll put in that day. It's just not a, um, it's just not a good thing to do. Um, so I think that's all I was going to talk about. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that was all. Hey, Faith, who are, who are some of your favorite people to do personal development with and listen and learn from? And who are you studying right now? Um, I like the effing guy. 
I like him. Um, Bob Healing. Um, I like listening to Kara. I don't know how to say her last name. She's the one who wrote Girl Code. I love the book Girl Code. I like listening to her podcast. Her podcasts are really, really, you know, women empowering. And they're just not all about network marketing, but you'll find things about confidence from her. And you'll find, find things about meditation and, you know, just positive things to do. I learned about meditation through her podcast, getting up in the morning, and, you know, just like focusing on those things that you want. And um, instead of the negative, I'll focus on the positive. Um, what else do I like? I like Eric Worre. I like Tony Robinson for motivation. Um, but I think the ones I learn from the most are probably going to be Bob Healing. I think he's the top, the number one I've learned from that I have watched. Um, I like How to Build Network Marketing Leaders, that book, Girl Code, um, Rock Your Network Marketing Business. That was a good one. So, yeah, those are probably those. Sweet. Oh, my gosh. Does anyone else have any questions for Faith? I had so many like aha moments and nuggets. I can't wait for other people to watch this replay. It was so good, Faith. Um, if you guys are on here and you want to follow Faith, she posts her her social media is just beautiful and she it's just well done. Um, don't send her a friend request. Just hit her follow button, and you could even put her on C first if you want. Um, but she does. She's just amazing. It's been fun to watch her over the two year journey. Um, great points uh, that she brought up. She's a single mom and we can see that she hasn't used that as an excuse or a crutch or a reason to quit. Um, so yeah, well done, Faith. And if anyone has any questions, go ahead and unmute yourself and ask away.